Oh my god, my cat fell and landed weird. Hey buddy, your nail is not pointing the right way. Okay, that really scares me, okay? Okay, I don't know if one of his nails fell off or if he broke his claw. I don't know what happened in there. I really don't know what happened in there. I just know that your claws are 90 degrees off. I hope your finger's not broken, okay? To make matters worse, guess what? Strawberry decided to pee um, on the carrier, the open carrier, because she's in heat. Oh my god. <sighs> Typical of Buddy, um, due to his earlier experiences in life, frequent vet visits, he's not really afraid of the vet. It's just basically a place to eat. <laughs> but I think my girlfriend here took this to a bit of an extreme, so the me tube is always in his face, even if there's like nothing in the me tube. Yeah. Injected some local anesthesia, just waiting for it to kick in and yank out the damaged claw. Thank God there's no broken bones. Touch out. Just as a side note, if you're doing emergencies at uh, night hours, the fees are always higher. But he hated the cone at the vet, and when they tried to put it on, it was too rough, scared him, leaked some pee onto us. I'm not sure how well this cone's gonna stay on. As I said, he hate cones. Thank God there's still the med kit that was from Burrito's Burrito Bandage Times. It's always sitting here. <laughs>
，新年快乐啊！新年快乐啊，大家，乖啲。好啦，我哋嚟冷静下先，冷静下先。Look, this way when it's like this, he's so much calmer. We need you, you and mommy. The vet prescribes some painkillers to take orally. See if this guy is willing to do it, cause he just calmed down. Okay, well, don't forget the cat's in the back. Otherwise, yellow cat is gonna think that I neglected her. Of course, she doesn't know why I suddenly give so much treats to Buddy. Yep, you see the syringe in my hand. Okay, so this is actually absorption by the gum area. So I'm gonna do a few drops at a time. What I love about Buddy is that he's very food motivated, so some snacks go a very long way. If you've seen his previous videos, he can be mad and still eat at the same time. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Buddy. 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 Given that he's got damaged claws, four in total, and he's keep clawing at his own cone, trying to get out of it, I think this is gonna do him more harm than good. So after some deliberation, gonna get rid of it. I think I'm just gonna wash the wounds a bit more often to keep it clean. Well, at least he's using his litter box. So. That's a good sign too. And just when I thought I was gonna say, "Aw, ding ding, that's so cute. You're here to keep him company because he's in quarantine." But nope. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> He doesn't want to be there. Is you can probably hear he's making these pitiful meows. Thing is, now I move these around um, because when Buddy fell. This was facing outwards, and he nosedived right into this. And I think when his claws were trying to extend, trying to save himself when he was nosediving, he must have bent his claws in a bad way. So now I'm gonna have this facing outward in case he falls. And the other one goes here. This one has a flat surface, so if they land, hopefully they land on here. But that said, I think I have to revamp this face. Totally have to revamp it. So at the end, he didn't sleep in the cage. Instead, he slept right behind my knees. It's like he knew something happened. He wasn't jumping up and down, and he's sleeping so soundly. But my legs and my body just cramped up because I didn't move at all. But that's okay. It's amazing the intellect of animals. They just know. Usually he'd be jumping up and down the shelves, but tonight, not so much. <coughs> I'm just feeling the knuckles and the finger bones just to double check and make sure that he's not avoiding me. I learned this from uh, Blue Cat breaking her finger before she fractured it, and I can actually feel that there's a so-called joint where there is no joint. Uh, so I'm just doing that as a double check measure here. 
And of course I'm being very careful not to get to the bad paw. And of course that's at the tip of the finger, but I'm just making sure that the finger bones are okay. I'm so proud of Buddy. Not only does he not hate me, but he's pretty compliant already. Hey, Buddy. Still pretty lucky that there's no bones broken. Just a bit freaked out, actually, from the accident for everybody. Anyway, Happy New Year, everyone. Stay safe. Meow.